Are you ready? I've been ready. Don't give me any of your crap. Come on, we're wasting people's time. Hi there. Thanks for diving into Two Peas, Same Pod, the humorous podcast of family unity that proves we're all in this comedic roller coaster of life together. Here are your hosts, the father and daughter duo, Eric and Tova Weinstein. Well, hello and welcome to Two Peas, Same Pod. I'm your co-host, Eric Weinstein. I'm Tova Weinstein. And this is a father-daughter podcast. Father-daughter. About everything and nothing at all. Mm. Uh, we're a little late this week on the episode, and we are getting ready to rush Tova off to the airport tonight. Never admit your faults. Never. No, no, no. It's it's only human. Like There used to be a little thing on Sesame Street, and here's how it went. Everyone makes mistakes, so yes, they do. Your sister and your brother and your dad and mother, too. Big people, small that. people. Matter of fact, all, all people. people. Everyone makes mistakes, so yes, they do. Anyway, so uh, welcome to our... That was the whole song? That's the whole thing. I don't remember anything else. But uh, welcome to our podcast this week. We're a few, Like I said, we're a few days late, and it's going to be a short episode today because we've got to get Tova off to Logan Airport. They have to get me there. They're sick of me. We Yesterday are. We night, get her. he was like, when are you leaving? Yeah, we got to get the hell out of the house because we need our vacation, which is just a week off. Okay, you. well, the house is going to be awfully boring now that I'm not around, so... It'll be nice and quiet. What are you going to do for dinner? I make dinner every night. Oh, I have please. dinner on the on the table ready, steaming hot for you when you guys get home from yeah. a long, stressful day. This is a plate of steaming hot something right now. I don't know, guys. For, for our listeners out there, they know this is not true. For those of you who are just joining us, uh, we are a father-daughter podcast, father, daughter. and we uh, have three segments every week. We have our World Peas segment, where we talk about pop culture. We have a Peas Our Family segment. Peas Our Family. Where we have that uh, weekly tribute to Sister Sledge. Hey, hey, hey. And we talk a little bit about some family lore. And then we have a Peas of Information segment, where I toss uh, Tova a couple of hot questions and get even hotter answers. Oh, God. Today, this is going to be a short episode. We're going to blend the first couple of segments, the World Peas and uh, Peas Our Family segment together, because I have a feeling we're going to cross over into topics that really cover both. What? And then I'm going to hit Tovo with just a couple of quick questions, and uh, we'll go from there. So, okay. uh, Tova, we are two and a half minutes, three minutes into this already. Before we go on at all, okay. shout out to one of our listeners. Shout out. Shout out to... Jody Trotterman. Oh, Jay Trod. The happy realtor. Want- Jody is a uh, local realtor here in the Framingham area Woo-hoo. or Metro Boston area. Houses, land, property. And uh, she's a big fan, big fan of Tova's. Woohoo! Uh, and uh, last week she surprised she, she- us with these beautiful. Two Peas Same Pod custom mugs. If you go to our Instagram, you will see at Two Peas Same Pod number two. The, the number two Peas Same Pod. Yeah, number two. Well, if they add number two at the back of it, it's not going to no, find us. No, at the front. Dad, you're being difficult. Yes, I am. Fabulous mugs, really high quality, mm-hmm. has our image, uh, our logo on the front, and has uh, one of each, uh, two mugs, one each with our names on it. Yeah, our names on it. So shout out Jay Trod. She actually stopped by my place of work. And surprised me, and I thanked her so much. It was a surprise. I wasn't even su- supposed to stop at home that night, but I had to drop up mom's pita bread because they were potentially having someone over. I don't know who they just needed the pita bread. But so I stopped at home to drop some stuff off, and my dad was like, Check this out. <laughs> and I was so happy. I was so surprised. Thank you, Jay Trod. She commented on my tan skin when she stopped by, and I was like, Yeah, it's. The sun. It's all natural. All natural, and it will stay that way. A lot of vitamin E. <laughs> Whatever. Let's uh, get into World Peas. So let's get into our first segment, World Peas. Your, bum, bum, bum. So your favorite show is coming back. Bum, ba, dum, bum, 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 Okay. And for those of you that and don't I recognize can- the little theme song or the little breakout music that they use, that is... Dancing with the Stars. And I can't believe that mom's the one who went with me to the Dancing with the Stars at the Wilbur way back when. It wasn't the Wilbur, it was the uh, Hanover. At the Hanover. I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't into it that much back then. I don't then. want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I, listen, there's nothing wrong with being a fan of Dancing with the Stars. Yeah, it's all in your hips. 
Yeah, I, I cannot move like that. Yeah, that, he's like standing in the back, like watching it from afar, and he's like shaking his butt, like doing a little twirl and okay, dance. Okay, people, if you believe that, I've got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you no, off. No, seriously, he's shaking his butt. I have dancing in rhythm. my heart. <laughs> dancing in my heart. I I have Bruno Tol- Tonioli. Rip, real li- oh. Rip Len. Rip He was Len. the only one Len that Goodman. actually, like, he would tell it how it is. He would just give it straight to their face. He would, but I like Derek Huff. Derek yeah, I do too. Wait, did they release the second celebrity? No, I think that's they're doing it on a weekly. I, no, I don't know that's that's Shh, that's dude, ridiculous. Why are you yelling? No, I just need the cast out here because the first one was so good. But do you think they started with like the very? I best do. One? I, I think oh. they. I think they started with like a big name. So for those of you that don't know, the breaking news last night. No, or, yesterday or, morning. Yesterday morning. I'm sorry. On GMA, Good Morning America, with Robin Roberts and George Stephanopoulos. Okay. They're not advertisers here. I don't know why we're pushing them so much. <laughs> you but are. The very first. So la- yesterday they revealed the very first contestant. Drum roll, please. I will insert a drum roll right here. Okay. The first contestant. His name is Stephen Nadaros. You all know him as the pummel horse blind man. The pommel horse guy from the U.S. gymnastics team who's from Worcester. Worcester. Not far from us. So, dirty Woo. Worcester in the house. Actually, some of our fans are from there. Not That's the Dirty right. Woo. Not the Dirty Woo. Clean Woo. Clean Woo. Woo-hoo. <laughs> Keep listening. Woo. Yeah. So Stephen Nedarosik from uh, Worcester is going to be competing. And he seems like a really funny guy. Uh, he's kind of nerdy, kind of yeah, dweeby. Kind of. But he is muscular. He is fit. And he's a fantastic pommel horse guy. I know, and he's very, he goes to the rhythm, so I'm sure he'll be very yeah. good at dance. Usu- I bet he'll win. I bet he'll win. Usually the gymnasts and the figure skaters do quite well. Yeah. Was Jojo Siwa on? Is that who was She's on? She's been on before. Yeah, yeah well, but I- like the people who like have a dancing history who are on Dancing with the Stars, it's more like Dancing with Dancing, Dancing with the Professional. Yeah, it's more like, yeah, It's exactly. not fair. Did, they, did she win? No, she didn't win. She got bumped out. Jojo, have you learned nothing? What is that from? That's from Dance, dance Moms. moms. Yeah, he is oh. not a big dance. Actually, I need to down, download some of their episodes for my flight and Young Sheldon. I need to download those episodes and I'll watch them on the way. I have no problem with Young Sheldon. I just didn't watch it. I have a big problem with Dance Moms. Dance Moms is hilarious. But JoJo, she has learned nothing. She's still immature in the head. Like, she's still. She was on Dance Moms many years ago. And and so it seems like these people get started in, like, reality television. Mm. And then they just move on to different reality television shows. That's JoJo, happened. yes. Maddie, the other one who was yeah. in Sia's music video. Eh, but they say she got groomed by Sia. Because, like, they said that, like, Maddie moved in with Sia. Ooh. Like, and Maddie was, like, very young. I don't even know if that's... Don't quote me. Don't sue me. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> I yeah, I you. actually love Dance Moms. I think it's hilarious. Sometimes the topics of the dances, they did, like, a Holocaust dance. Or they did, like, an <laughs> oh, Anne Frank dance or like a Rosa Parks dance there's like a lot of controversy about like some of the past and they weren't even gonna have her be like the lead or something it was bad what was that show about like the the beauty pageants oh toddlers and tiaras or no no no, the woman who used to say right hand to god you know, right that hand was, of God. What? Who said that? That tall blonde woman. Oh, with the short hair. Yes. That is toddlers and tiara. Oh, is that I think her name's like Carrie. She's very southern. Yes. And she talks like that. Okay, stop, stop. We actually we we lost a couple of seasons of Dancing with the Stars when it moved to Disney Plus only. There was, I think, at least one or two seasons where it was not on ABC. It was strictly on Disney Plus and. It was great if you wanted to stream it because I suppose you could watch it anytime you want rather than Monday night. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be chasing a streaming service for what had been usually a broadcast TV show. Kim of Queens. That's right. Kim of Queens. Instead of King of Queens. Yes, I get it. Get it? It's like a pun. Kim of Beauty Queens. That's the play on words. What is this woman's name? Her name's Kim. Of course. You know, we did lose a couple of a couple of seasons of Dancing with the Stars, but that was also when Tyra Banks was hosting it and Mom is not a Tyra fan. Uh, she Who just, is? I am. I like Tyra. Who doesn't like Tyra? I guess Mom. 
But I saw that movie when I was younger, Life oh, Size. And yes. she's like a creepy doll or something. Well, that's a creepy storyline, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's like a she's a doll who comes to life and then like tries to help out like this teenage girl who's I don't know. Doesn't it's she like become very... like the girlfriend of the father because the mother died or something? I have no idea, but that was a weird story. Where did yeah, that was a weird story. Weird. Was, some of those some of those shows, those Disney Channel movies yeah. made for TV movies. Were yeah, a like weird. the Mermaid Boy one, like thirteen. Like, uh, yeah. what was that one? It was, was like it something thirteen or so, thirteen and something. Or yeah, it was thirteen some... and wet. I don't know. Thirteen. No, it was like thirteen years or something like that. Yeah, he was like a mermaid kid. Merman. But, yeah, but that Mer-bo- was a weird one he, too. He's a mer boy. And what about the Disney Channel one with the chicken and the basketball countdown? Something with the I, I don't, don't know. know There's some this. crazy movies out there. Yeah, there were some. Hey, Speaking was, of Freaky Friday two coming back. Oh, is it? You didn't know that. I don't know anything. Freaky Friday, Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee back at it. Is it Jamie Lee? Or yeah, is it? Jamie Lee Curtis. I did not know, but you know, Freaky Friday itself, the first one with Lindsay Lohan and Jamie Lee, is a remake. Of Freaky Friday from the 70s that starred Jodie Foster and Hope Lang. Oh, my God. That's right. For those of you my generation, it was a young Jodie Foster. She might have been like 13 or 14 years old at the time. And Hope Lang, who had happened to be on The Ghost of Mrs. Muir. Tova's looking at me like I have no idea what I'm talking about. But I have every idea about what I'm talking about. She has no idea what I'm talking about. So uh, I did not know Freaky Friday 3, basically, is coming out. Okay, okay. moving on. Far oh, did we talk about Matthew Perry at all in the last episode? We have not talked. Oh, we talked a little bit about Matthew Perry uh, because I think people had just been arrested or were about to be arrested. The ketamine queen. Yeah, I'm, I'm disgusted about the way That's terrible. that went down. That's awful. Some doctors or people who have licenses are, like, corrupt or, like, these people, like, just don't, like, care about, like, the human life. Because yes. there's text message that came out. How much Matthew, can we get out of this? Yeah, yeah, how much can we get out of this clown or whatever? Yeah, I mean, really. That's for, terrible. The hypocritical and he's oath, a drug first, do no harm. Yeah, and he's a drug addict. Like, that's the sad thing about it. So, Like, they knew he was, they knew they were setting him up to OD. Mm-hmm. They just knew it. Yeah. Of course, they, of course, he was having his, like, his personal assistant yeah, ju- like, juice him up. Yeah, I, mean, ugh, I wouldn't want to be that assistant. So is the assistant <laughs> prison? No, I think the the assistant brokered a deal, and that's how he he turned on everybody. So, oh, they know. were like, "We'll we'll give you safety." Well, I think they gave him some either immunity or they brokered a deal of some sort. Can you get immunity for any crime you commit it if de- you? It depends on what kind of evidence you have against other people who might be higher up the food chain. That's crazy. So, speaking of immunity, hopefully yeah. that will help my nightmares. I keep having these crazy nightmares, yeah. and there's no good outcome in my nightmares. As long as they say if you die in your dreams, you die in real life. So don't die in your dreams. No, I, I haven't died in my dreams. I hope not. Other people, and it's crazy and I, scary I've had some and la- chaotic and sad. Last night I had a weird dream that mom was yelling at me that somebody, we were making dinner. Somebody was coming over for dinner. Might have been grandpa. So somebody was coming over for dinner, and he he didn't eat ground turkey. And I was <laughs> suggesting we make, like, chili or something like that. And mom kept yelling at me. That's ground turkey. <laughs> Don't use ground turkey. You can't use ground turkey. And I'm like... I know I can't use ground turkey. Why is this an issue? <laughs> I don't know why I had this dream. I know. We haven't had ground turkey in a little while. I know. So, I don't know. I had ground turkey on the mind. That's Franklin's food usually, too. It is. He is liked, that a dog barking? There is a dog in the uh, 1253 studios the today. The studio is my first Instagram picture. If I post while I'm away, it's going to be out of the studio. That's the caption. Yeah, Tova is hitting the streets starting tomorrow. You land at 11 o'clock in the morning, their time. <laughs> 5.45 our time, I think. Oh, my God. So, yes, Tova is traveling across the pond and hitting up. Do you say, oh, my God, because you and Mom are going to have to, like, stay up and see that my flight lands? Your mother might. Oh, see, this is what I deal with, people. Yeah, we you deal with parents who are concerned about your safety and arrival I think, I think in a foreign is, country. She, I might get my OCD from her. Mm, I don't know. You know part of OCD is, like, triple checking, like, a million checking that the door is locked. Yeah, but I don't think you have that sort of OCD. No. You I'll, have sort of, you have the, you have like an obsessive component, but not compulsion. You don't feel compelled to check the door and you don't feel no, compelled No, I do. To, what are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. I literally at work, I freak, oh. especially with work for the house, I text you every morning. Did I lock the door? Because I'm literally like, uh, I forget if I locked the door. Yes, you're obsessed the, with the door being locked. You want to make sure the door is locked. No, on the way to Papa's unveiling, I was mm-hmm. like, did I turn my 
a curling iron off even though i made sure that i did and i was freaked out and i was like the house is gonna be burnt down like this is not what we need on top of a puppet's on bed like I literally, that's not what we need today it's not we what don't we need, need that any day yeah but so i i don't know i think i might have some of that obsessive man we've could have drilled down in the diagnosis if you would been willing to we were just to, talking about this because the dog in the office is crazy literally yes, all, crazy ollie is being sent away at the end no. of september for uh, what we call Con- here in the office conversion therapy. Doggy conversion therapy. Because we are not homophobic. No, people. no, no, no. He needs to be converted from the wild animal that he is mm-hmm. to a nice, mellow, well behaved puppy. I'm literally just standing there. I'm like, it's okay to be calm. And he's literally like at my neck, like trying to bite at me. Not really bite at no, you. No, no, no. He's just being he's a friendly. Playing. Yeah, he's, he's playing, friendly but nipping, but he's, yeah. t- he's tall when he's standing. That's what I'm trying to say. When like, he's st- so he's only he about, jumps. He's only about 40 pounds. Pounds, not even. So he's not that big a dog. He looks bigger because he of does. His... He has a lot of hair, and when he jumps and stands on his hind legs, he yeah. can get up to your shoulders. It, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, and especially when he's jumping, when he's on his back legs, I'm like, oh my god, this is a human right here trying to <laughs> tackle me. But yeah, so we were talking about Mark was like, you have any doggy Adderall left over? <laughs> and I was like, no, my parents actually never. Never push the medication route for Adderall. And then my dad was like, BS, BS, BS. What'd you say? You were like, I. I said, that's not true because you wouldn't cooperate with the testing. It wasn't that I wasn't cooperating, but it was like eight hours of testing for like five days straight and i was like no way by the way people that is not at all reality yes it, is. it was some craziness and so we like, decided we decided like, to let you go organic yeah i was like that's terrible, terrible. i was like why would anyone want to sit through that I was terrible like, yeah so since uh tova is not going to be with us next week why don't yeah, we move into our that sounds like i'm gonna die why'd you say it like that <laughs> why don't we move into our peas our family segment well we announce Next week's special guest. So this is our piece of family segment where we usually talk about some family lore, some story from the family archives. Tova is giving me the finger, the one minute finger, the hold on finger. I have a story. Okay. So one second, we'll, we'll, we'll let you tell the story. But first we have a special announcement next week in Tova's seat at the 1253 studios. We'll have a special guest, the OG, the OG, the Just- honorable justice Geraldine A. Weinstein. Geraldine! Woohoo! Yes, my mother, the on. Glammy slash Grammy slash Glamma slash Geraldine slash Jerry. The Honorable Jerry Weinstein will be in studio taking Tova's seat. Mm -hmm. The format will be roughly the same, probably not the pop culture stuff, but uh, we'll have to hit Grammy up for a couple of stories. And we'll uh, throw a couple of hot questions at her about things that she's not expecting. And you know how well that might go. Those of you who know my mother, tune in. It's going to be a, it's going to be a scene. Oh, it's going to be a scene. All right. She actually was there when the ho- when the guy who was living in the home, the deaf guy, ran into my car, and she was driving off. But I don't think she like looked in my like direction I, as I got out of the car, and she just. She just kept driving but i don't think she saw what was happening because if she saw what happened she would have come and help but so grammy this one's for you next week it's your turn you're in the hot seat she'll be in the she'll be riding shotgun mm-hmm. well, let me just say one more story before, yes one more story so i'm traveling as we've mentioned and i needed some currency so i take myself to triple a Tuesday, I'm leaving Friday, and I thought they just... Nothing ha- like waiting to the last minute, I say. But I was like, I can't believe, like, AAA just has, like, a register, like, with all different currencies. Like, that's awesome. And I think my dad or my mom was like, no, like, they have to order it from someplace. And I was like, what? And so I go, and they're like, oh, I don't think it's, like, when you leaving? And I was like, oh, Friday. And they were like, oh, yeah, like, we can't make any promises. It's going to be here. Like, uh, and I was like, okay, like, I guess I'll I'll risk it because, like, I need to risk it just to, like, have some cash on me. Well, you, I mean, you could have got it when you got overseas. Whatever. And then I'm at work the next day, and I get a call. Your euros are ready. And I'm like, what the actual? This guy got me all worked up saying I wasn't going to get give me my money. And by the time I left, you wouldn't get it. It's a TikTok trend. Um, 
so I walk in and she's like, he's like, you're here for your money. I was like, yeah, give me my money. I guess my wrist worked out. And so he was like, oh, okay. And he starts counting it in front of me. And he was like, yeah. and I was like, okay, okay. And he was like, he hands it to me. He's like, you can count it. And I just put it back in this. So don't wait last minute to get your currency. But even if you do, it was like 24 hours. They so. probably walked right next to the TD Bank and got it there. How do they do that? Oh, TD Bank has a there register are some, of There currencies. are some banks that keep euros or well the exchange rate thing is hard to that's ridiculous he goes looks like you're not on like you're not having good luck you leave friday and the exchange rate's 1.16 and he was like yeah bad luck for you and yeah, i was that like means, oh my god that means it cost it cost more a little like, bit more rude. over there i was like okay way to beat a dead horse it's not dead why don't we move uh quickly one question in our piece of information segment maybe two i'm gonna hit you with one right now hit me what are you most looking forward to in Barcelona? Barcelona. I'm really excited to go to the Boqueria because we were staying right near it. And then we didn't really leave the area or the hotel. You mean we in 2017? Were. Yeah. When we went to Barcelona, we stayed like right near it, maybe like half a mile away on the same block. And we didn't go. And then Josh went and he was like, if we just walked a couple more steps and it looks like it has the freshest fruit, it looks so good. So I'm excited for that in Spain and Amsterdam. I'm excited for just like the food and everything. But you didn't ask that. So, well, you are going to a restaurant tomorrow night or Monday. Some, some not day tomorrow night. Okay. You are going to some restaurant. Just tomorrow what is... night's my canal cruise. Okay. What is the restaurant you're going to in Amsterdam? Oh, yeah. We're going to Caspar. It's like a revolving cheese like place. Yeah, but wait a second. When you say revolving, you mean it's like those sushi places where they Yes, but not like grubby. It's like nice. They have covers over everything. Yes, it's nice. So I can't wait for that updates to come. Okay. Well, so Tova, what we say to you when you depart on a trip is bon voyage. That's if I'm like going away for a while, right? You're going away for eight days. Yes. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So we say bon voyage. Be safe. Don't be stupid. I'm never stupid. No, not really, except that time you tried to bring in a grinder onto the... Uh... This backpack I checked. I was like, <laughs> oh, I might have to go out and buy one that hasn't had like any paraphernalia taint it. But then I found this one in the back of my closet. And I was like, I'm thought, you better not, not be late thought. back to the house because we have a timeline. What time meet. do you want me to be home? We have to roll Okay, at 6.30. We're rolling right now, people. We are rolling, so... Uh, Peace out. And peace out. See you next Tuesday. Or I won't see you next Tuesday, but Geraldine will. All right. We'll see you next week, people, without Tova. And then she'll get back and she'll regale us with stories of bailing herself out of jail. Until next week, America. Peace out. And peace out. Thanks for listening to Two Peas, Same Pod, hosted by Eric and Tova Weinstein. Please subscribe and join us next time as we continue to share humorous anecdotes, funny mishaps, and comical observations from our own lives. Two Peas, Same Pod is produced by 1253 Studios, bringing always humorous and sometimes thought-provoking conversations to you through your favorite podcasting sites. Creative content and marketing director, Tova Weinstein. Executive producer and chief editor, Eric Weinstein. Music by MBB. Find his work on YouTube by searching for MBB Music or at mbbmusic.com. Special thanks for the intro, outro, and trailer voiceover to Jordan Rich of CBS Boston Radio and Chart Productions, providing audio and voiceover recording and production, as well as podcast production and support. Visit Jordan at chartproductions.com. Funding for Two Piece and Pod is provided by the Law Office of Eric Weinstein and listeners like you please consider subscribing and supporting this podcast. Until we meet again, this was Two Peas, Same Pod, a 1253 Studios production.